Hello and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. This is the second of two scouting analysis highlight videos of a goalkeeper said to be on Celtic radar to be Joe Hart's replacement. The goalkeeper in question has in the last few days uh, appeared as a reported rumoured target for Celtic. Um, his name is Yvonne Mogul, currently playing for FC Lorient in France. FC Lorient were a Ligue 1 team, but unfortunately got relegated at the end of last season. And it is thought that Mogul has an agreement or a clause in his contract that allows him to leave Lorient uh, before his contract ends if they did get relegated, as was unfortunately the case for uh, Mogul uh, last season. He is uh, Switzerland's current number two goalkeeper. Uh, Mogul was the goalkeeper on the bench throughout the Euro campaign for Switzerland um, and uh, didn't uh, get any games in the Euro 24. And he has nine Switzerland caps and has represented Switzerland at every age group level up from under 15, under 16, under 17, under 18, under 19, under 20, under 21 and full international and he's um, played for a number of different uh, clubs across Europe starting his pro career at Young Boys of Bern, moving on also to play for PSV in Holland also for RB Leipzig in Germany and has been at uh, Lorient in France for a couple of seasons. Now, um, having a wee look at his stats, uh, Mogul is 30 years old, as I said, nine Switzerland full international caps, six foot three in height, and his contract with Lorient runs out in June 2025 and his current uh, valuation £2.5 million. Um, his valuation was up in the regions of 3 and a half to £4 million last season, but with his contract running down, his transfer value uh, is... Uh, reducing as would be usual under those circumstances and Celtic in that case would be able to get him in theory a, a relatively cut price uh, deal price um, given the fact that he's uh, now playing for a relegated side and his contract ends in 12 months time. Now uh, despite the fact that he was playing for a team battling and eventually failing relegation and Mogo's season-long rating with Lorient was 7.19 and his save percentage was 69%. Both I think are uh, quite remarkable given the fact that his team um, were under so much pressure and losing so many games last season and over his whole career as a goalkeeper 352 games with 89 clean sheets last year with Lorient. Four clean sheets over 34 games, so not such impressive uh, clean sheets as uh, was for Dubravka or a few of the other goalkeepers being uh, scouted and targeted by Celtic. But I think given the fact that last season his um, team was under so much pressure and losing their battle against relegation, I think um, his clean sheet percentages are reasonable and, and I think that's uh, outweighed by the fact that his season rating was at 7.19 and his save percentage was at 69%, both of which are uh, indicating good a good goalkeeper or bordering on a very good goalkeeper in terms of his stats. Only slight concern with uh, 
Mogo's stats is he doesn't seem the best goalkeeper in terms of short and long passing and isn't the best goalkeeper with the ball at his feet, which might be a wee bit of a hindrance with him coming to Celtic. But uh, what we'll do next is we'll pop in a wee highlight reel along with the copyright disclaimer of his uh, goalkeeping highlights over the last year or two with Lyon and then we'll finish off the video with my own thoughts of uh, the likelihood of Mogul coming to Celtic and whether um, he is the kind of goalkeeper that we should be looking for. enjoyed that we highlight reel of Mogo. There are a few other uh, highlight reels and uh, game highlights of, uh, for Mogo on YouTube and uh, do have a wee look at those. Now my own impressions re regarding Mogo, uh, big goalkeeper, a good big goalkeeper, very acrobatic, very agile, very good quick reflexes, certainly is a very good shot stopper um, and from those highlights did seem reasonably good at uh, um, passing the ball getting the ball up the field quickly 
Um, I do like his ability to spread himself and block shots. Uh, it does seem quite a difficult goalkeeper to get the ball past. Um, certainly in, when the shots are to the corners uh, of his goals, very good at pushing the, the shot around the post or over the bar. Um, was a wee bit concerned that uh, quite often with shots that are more towards the middle of the goal, he um, isn't always the surest handler, quite often um, knocking the ball back, straight back into the oncoming strikers. Um, handling from the highlights did seem a wee bit suspect on a few occasions. And um, for me, he was actually quite reminiscent of Peter Vindal Jensen, the Spartan Prague goalkeeper, who Celtic are said to be very closely following. Some sources also suggesting that Celtic have actually made a formal bid to Sparta Prague. I was, when I was watching Vindal Jensen's highlight videos, plus having had the benefit of watching Vindal Jensen in two uh, games between Sparta, Sparta Prague and Liverpool last season on TV, I wasn't massively impressed by Vindal Jensen both from those games and other highlights of the Europa League with Sparta Prague, plus the YouTube highlights. I wasn't that impressed with Vindal Jensen, and I have to say I'm a wee bit so-so 50-50 uh, with Yvon Mogo as well. I think there are many good features regarding Vogel. Mogo, big goalkeeper, um, has certainly uh, lots of experience all around Europe as international experience um, for a big goalkeeper, agile, acrobatic, good shot stopper, good at spreading himself and blocking the ball. Um, I would personally have, if I'm coming to Celtic, just that wee bit of concern regarding his reliability of handling and also his ability to play the sweeper, keep, keep, sweeper keeper role that's uh, generally Brendan Rodgers' style. I, for one, wouldn't be massively keen for Celtic to sign Mogo on the basis of what I've seen so far. Um, unlike Dubravka and a few of the other goalkeepers who Celtic are said to be looking at, haven't had the benefit of seeing Mogo play much apart from uh, these YouTube highlights. And so uh, I would be the first to admit that I don't have the fullest picture of Mogo. And so if there are some of you out there who've had the benefit of watching him playing for Lorient over the last couple of years in the French top division, do feel free to pop those into the comment section. And as always, do feel free to pop your comments regarding whether you think Mogo is a good option for Celtic um, and also your general thoughts regarding the goalkeeping gap problems at Celtic. As always, if you are new to the channel and you've enjoyed this style of video and the general content of the channel, please do click that subscribe button, get the numbers pushing past 700 for my birthday in a few days' time. And if you have liked the video, please do click that video like button to help YouTube send these videos and the channel to more and more Celtic fans and more and more football fans in general. So that finishes things off for today's a uh, little scouting analysis highlight video for Yvon Mogo. Uh, and so for today, uh, goodbye and hail, hail.